Jack. I'm James Yoon, your Exec Vice President. And I'm Rowan Alec Haley, your Exec ASB President. And today you are going to be voting on your Exec ASB elections. Hey wait James, what is Exec? Great question. Exec is ASB board that oversees the entire student body by planning events, managing student budget, and working with clubs. Who you vote on Exec is not only vital to school culture but also to ASB success, so please be mindful when listening to the speeches and make wise choices. And the first candidate for president is Sophie Dickert. And she has a famous dog. Hi, my name is Sophie Dickert and I'm running for your executive ASB president. I'm currently junior class president and I've been the president of class of 2023 for the last three years. After being involved in student council since fifth grade, I know that ASB is something I love doing and I feel prepared for this role. I'd love to be your president because leadership has been a passion of mine for a while now and I'd enjoy the opportunity to not only improve Jackson High in general, but every student's individual experience at this school. I appreciate the diversity of Jackson High School and will strive to represent the variety of perspectives, backgrounds, interests, and values we have. As your president, my goals will be to do my best to honor and represent each of you by listening to your thoughts and making sure your ideas are heard. Going into the next school year, I want to help freshmen feel more comfortable in the school by creating events that will help you guys meet new friends, such as freshman movie nights and freshman game nights. For sophomores and juniors, as classes are getting harder, I think it's important to create more opportunities for studying and collaborations, paired with stress relief, like bringing back therapy dogs for finals week. And for seniors, I would continue dedicating time, as I've done over the last three years, raising money for our prom and focusing on building connections within our class. I look forward to getting to know all of you better over the next school year, and the last couple of school years have been really hard on us all, so I think it's more important than ever that we focus on growth and building strong relationships here at Jackson. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to vote Sophie Dickert for your ASB president. And your second presidential candidate is Alex Wren. And his fun fact is that he declined to respond. You already know who I am and what I'm running for, so let's get to the point. As your next ASB president, I will improve the quality of the videos that ASB produces. You all know how bad they are. Don't lie. I know how to edit, and many of you have already seen my resume on Instagram, so you not only have proof that I'm not lying, but an idea of how much more entertaining they'll be. Next is sophomores. You guys never got freshman flapjacks last year. Which is why once you elect me, I will do sophomore flapjacks. And you can kindly of go through with that, since the event is already proven to be possible to do. And in terms of events, which is probably what you care about the most, I will be organized a talent show like The Voice List from two years ago. Except this time, it's not a lip dub, and it won't be judges. It's pure entertainment. There is also a myriad of other things I plan to do, but won't know if I can do unless I get elected. So if you want to know what they are, Now for the most important thing that I will do as president. We all know about the underlying bigotry at our school. Many of you have dealt with it. Others of you did it. The job is something only the Jackson administration is allowed to handle, but I don't care. As your next ASB president, I will work with our clubs like Black Student Union, GSA, as well as the Students Against Assault to help them in their goals of improving the campus's environment. The walkout from December is a reminder of a problem that hasn't been addressed at our school for years. And as your president, I'm not going to ignore it and let the cycle repeat itself without being worked on. What if I fail, you ask? Well, if it happens that I don't uphold my campaign promises, what I can promise you is that I'll live the rest of my life in shame. And your only vice president candidate is Joey Kim. And her fun fact is that she has second degree black belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Wolfpack? It's your exec PR, Joey Kim here, and I'm so excited to be serving as your next executive vice president. These past two years, I've actively served as a part of ASB, and I've genuinely enjoyed every moment of it. It's been so great being back in person, and I can't wait to dedicate more of my time to ASB and continue serving our student body, making more of your ideas a reality next year. I love you guys so, so much, and look forward to serving as your next Exec VP. And your only candidate for treasurer is Colton Anderson. And his fun fact is that he doesn't like pizza. Hey Jackson, my name is Colton Anderson and I'm so excited to be your ASB treasurer for the next school year. If you don't know me, I'm a junior and served this year as vice president for the class of 2023. I was grateful to have this opportunity to work with other class officers as well as students and coordinate events for the school and I plan on continuing to dedicate my time towards getting students' voices heard and making improvements towards school culture and spirit. I'm looking forward to working with the rest of ASB as well as all of our students to make your Jackson experience the best it can be. Thank you. And the only candidate for secretary is Ella Kleffer. And her fun fact is that her mom is British. Howdy, y'all. 
Not quite. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Ella Klumper and I'm your exec secretary for next year. I can't wait for the opportunity to be an ASB and make a welcoming environment at school where everyone feels loved and accepted. I'm super passionate about making sure that everyone's voice is heard and I can't wait for an amazing year. The only candidate running for activities coordinator is Erica Lee. And her fun fact is she likes taking photos of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Tables, my name is Erica and I'm running to be your next exec AC. Some things about me is that I love fashion. I feel like it's such a great way to express yourself and I also love meeting new people. So if you ever want to talk, feel free to reach out to me. Um, something I really stand for is inclusivity and involvement. I really want to make sure everyone feels included and feel that sense of belonging at our school. And as your activities coordinator, I can help make that more of a reality by creating more events so that you guys can feel more connected and involved with not only each other but our school. Thank you! And your first candidate for public relations is Tegan Anderson. And his fun fact is that he lived in Uganda. What's up dudes, it's your boy Tegan back with another video, wait wrong script, never mind I'm gonna speak to you from the heart. My name is Tegan Anderson and I'm running to be your executive public relations officer. You might be thinking, why should I care what position you're running for? Well, executive public relations is the person you hear on the announcements every morning. And if you want fun, creative announcements, then Tegan Anderson is the person you want to vote for. That's not all. I want to make school more fun than just announcements. I would love to help organize more student participation in what events happen next, with polls and a table at lunch where you can all give ideas. I was talking to my uncle the other day, and he said something to me. He said, with great power comes great responsibility. Now, I'm not saying I'm Spider-Man, but we've never been seen in the same room together. Seriously, though, I do believe that an ASB officer has a responsibility to serve you and help make Jackson a place where all students enjoy spending time. My name is Tegan Anderson, and you're watching Disney Channel. And your second candidate for public relations is Isabella Del Rosario. And her fun fact is that she just broke her leg just one week ago from skiing. Ouch. <laughs> Greetings, Jackson. This is your fellow sophomore student, Isabella Del Rosario, and I'm counting on you to vote for me as your next public relations officer. The description given for public relations is a somewhat dictionary definition, and I want to put it on my terms to help you guys understand why I should be elected for this position, let alone run for it. So what is public relations? To me, public relations is a connection between all of us, a connection where I put my trust in you and you put your trust in me. Your public relations officer should have leadership and organizational skills, and lucky for you, I've got both. When my friend group and I didn't have homecoming due to the conditions of COVID, I managed to plan a hoko for me and 15 of my great friends, making a night full of laughter, food, and excitement. This event made our sophomore year of high school a somewhat ordinary high school experience. Although, something I struggle with is depending too much on people's feedback. I spend a lot of time making sure everyone is content with not only my actions, but the conditions around them. Now you're probably wondering, what is Isabella Del Rosario going to do with the feedback she receives? I can take your feedback and improve myself and ASB as a whole. So please don't hesitate on providing criticism, especially when we need it. Some ideas I have for this position, if elected, is the AAA. Alternate Anonymous Announcers. This new idea will have Jackson staff and students say the morning announcements. This will allow all Jackson voices to be heard and represented at our school. I want to emphasize that public relations is not just someone behind your screen popping up on your social medias. It's about or your daily announcements. Rather, it's about the day-to-day in-person connections that we will have. So I hope I can count on you to vote for me, Isabella Del Rosario, for your next exec PR, public relations and your perfect representative. It's not about your voice or my voice. It's about Jackson's voices. So thank you. And the last candidate for public relations is Tyler Nguyen. And his fun fact is that he can make a thumbs up with his feet. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jackson Timberwolves, I'm Tyler Nguyen, your current sophomore activities coordinator. But now I'm ready to step up as your next executive public relations. You're probably wondering, hey, what qualifies from this position? I mean, I can make cool flyers and post on Instagram, but that's not what makes me special. I believe that building community is about making connections. And as PR, it isn't just about morning announcements. It's about bringing students together. 
to form communities where they feel safe and welcomed and to be the outreach towards opportunities for you. However, it's hard to feel welcome and valued when you don't feel accepted. That's why it's my utmost priority to create equity and give you a greater voice. With my purpose and passion for ASB, I believe we can do anything if we work together to find meaning out of our Jackson community and build an environment for all. But my goal isn't just to build community on a local level, but to better our Jackson experience crossing district lines, to reach out to other ASB boards from other schools, to build partnerships so your time in Jackson is worthwhile. Besides the cheesy part, I'm a very outgoing person, so I'll continue to promote our amazing school spirit by elevating our events since COVID-19 has affected so many parts of our lives. So I'll make this a memorable year. No, we will make this a memorable year. So make sure to vote for the candidate that includes you. Vote for the candidate that understands you. Vote for the candidate that will best represent you. But anyways, my DMs and snaps are always open to your concerns or just to talk. I would love to get to know you all. So remember, vote Tyler as your next executive public relations, cause your voice is my voice. All right, it's time. Your teacher will now provide a link to vote and voting closes at noon. The election results will consist of 50% student vote and 50% teacher input as well as interviews. It's the most important student duty. Go and vote. Um, and then... <laughs> <laughs> now go and replace us. And see. No, you don't. <laughs>